Gary, this is lesson number 20, and we're going to be covering two postures today. We're going to cover posture number 20, which is single whip, and we've already done single whip in the past. Um, and then we're also going to cover posture number 21, which is snake creeps down. Snake creeps down. So if you remember, last lesson, lesson number 19, we completed wave hands like clouds. So remembering wave hands like clouds, this was the last position we were in, right? We just completed wave hands like clouds. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna step out with our right foot and we're gonna push out our right hand as we look at our left palm. So once again, in lesson number 19, we were covering wave hands like clouds. We completed wave, wave hands like clouds. And we were in this position. Left hand on top, right hand in the bottom. My left elbow is facing down. I'm holding a ball. Again, this ball should not be close to my body. It should be about six inches from my body. So what I use is my, my thumb to my pinky. So that's the distance that this ball should be. So we're going to step out with our right foot, our right heel. So again, you're 12 o'clock, I'm facing 12 o'clock. Behind me is six, that's nine o'clock, and that's three o'clock. So I'm gonna step out to 12 o'clock with my right heel. I'm pushing out my right hand, and I'm looking at my left palm. So again, we just completed wave hands like clouds, and we're in this position. We're gonna step out with our right foot, push out our right hand, and look at the left palm. Now when you do this, you're in a, almost a bow stance. So most of your weight, about 70% is gonna be on your front foot, 30% on your back leg. So you're here. Now I want to do single whip, I'm gonna be facing nine o'clock when I do single whip. So from this position, again, this hand was fa is facing um, 12 o'clock, and I'm looking at my left palm. I'm going to, with my left foot, heel down, foot down, towards nine o'clock. I'm gonna shift slightly so I can raise my back toes, and then I'm gonna pivot. I'm gonna turn my body, and as I turn my body, I'm pivoting. I can turn my body because I'm pivoting on that back heel. So this foot is gonna be facing nine o'clock. This foot is gonna be at a 45 degree angle. This hand, elbow is bent, my arm is bent, my elbow is down. This hand is uh, looking towards my eye, so it's about the same height of, of where my eyes are. So I could do a um, push or I could strike to the eyes. This right hand is bent and it's gonna be right behind your right thigh. So here's my right thigh, bring my arm up. We don't want to bring it all the way out, right? You'll see that um, in other um, forms. But Chairman Cheng, everything was close, very short and closed in. So here's single whip. Um, in terms of single whip, um, the percentage of weight, again, you want to be grounded, right? You want to be able to go um, be evenly distributed if you need it to be, right? But when you're doing this stance, 70% of the weight is gonna be on your front leg, 30% is gonna be on your back leg, and you're gonna have a slight bend to your knees. You never wanna lock out that back leg, okay? So that was the question you had, um, which I answered on, on one of the emails. So again, this is posture number 20, it's single whip. So, We've completed wave hands like clouds. That's posture number 19. And we're in this position. From here, we step out with our right foot, right heel, push out our right hand and look at our left palm. 70-30. With my left foot, I'm gonna step out, heel down, foot down, shift slightly, pivot on this back heel. Single whip, single whip. So that is posture number 20. And then from posture 20, we're gonna do something called snake creeps down. Snake creeps down. Now, from the single whip position, you're going to um, turn out your right foot. 
And what we're gonna do is a squatting snake creeps down. So let me just uh, talk about that for a second. Um, if you have knee injuries, or if you have lots of pain in your knee, uh, as I do, um, I do a squatting snake creeps down. I don't do a traditional snake creeps down. And you can look at a lot of the literature. So this is a modified snake creeps down because I just, it, it would be impossible for me to do it with my right knee. So, um, because in the traditional snake creeps down, you're really gonna bend really low. This knee is gonna really push out in the direction of your toes. All your weight is gonna be on that back knee and that puts a lot of stress on the right knee. I cannot do that. So, modify snake creeps down. So from single whip, you turn your right foot out, your left hand is gonna come down the buttons, and then you're going to squat down. You're gonna squat down. This hand will come down and go in the direction of nine o'clock. This back hand is gonna be out facing three o'clock, and this is called snake creeps down. So this is the head of the snake, this is the tail of the snake. Something, uh, a common mistake is um, some students will turn their right foot out, they'll come down here and they'll keep this hand close to their body. No, it should be pushed up. The tail and the head. So from single whip, you're gonna push out your, or you're gonna turn out your right foot. Hands, your left hand goes down where your buttons of your uniform is. Come down snake creeps down and then we're going to go into golden pheasant stance on one leg but that will be for another lesson so what we covered today is on um, two postures single whip and snake creeps down